Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, I just wanted to drive through and, you know, my same old thing. Don't give up. Keep pushing, keep striving, keep going after your dreams and goals. You know, life is going to throw some things at us. Life is going to throw us some curveballs. Life is going to put us in situations that is going to be hard. But that's the purpose of it. Because if it was easy, then we wouldn't become better. Going through those hard testing times, that's what builds our character. That's what builds our resilience. That's what builds our ability to go to the next level. You know, I've been through some things in my life deep, dark places that I, I didn't think I was going to come out of. And I realized today is, what I realized today is being in those deep, dark places is what pushes me on today. That's what keeps me striving. That's what keeps me reaching for the next level. Because I know if I give up, on my dreams and goals, if I give up on myself, I'm going to find myself in a place, a deeper, darker place than I was before. So when the challenges come in life, I look at it as, a, I look at it as an opportunity to, to better myself. I look at it as an opportunity to learn something new, learn a new skill gain some more experience. I think it was Jim Rohn, he said, don't wish that it was easier, wish that you were better. So when challenges come, I experience it, go through it, and after I do what I have to do to get through it, I'm able to apply that principle or apply, apply that experience to my next level. And that's what we all have to do. I mean, I know right now, right now, we got racism going on, we got coronavirus, unemployment, uh, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of uncertainty about what the future is going to bring. And <laughs> I was having a conversation with somebody the other day and uh, I won't put their name out there. They're really private. But he said that when times of adversity come, there's someone or there are some people that finds the opportunity in that adversity. So these times that we are going through, there is something, there is some business, there is some organization to be started, there is, there is something that we can do and turn these times of uncertainty into opportunity. Uh, I know some people are in the stock market now. That's just where some people are because the stocks are low. And once we come out of this coronavirus era, if we ever come out of it, or when things get back to what normal will be, the stocks are going to rise. And they're going to capitalize off that. Uh, you know, like the, on the people making masks. You know, that's brilliant because everybody's wearing masks now. So in this time that we're going through, this rough time, this down time, there is some opportunity in it. And we just have to find it. And and this time of adversity is going to tell us who we really are. It's going to 
let us know what we are really made of on an individual level. It's going to let us know, okay, what you really made of. You know, you said that you got your grand, your grandmother's blood in you, your grandfather's blood in you, and your mother's, your father's blood. Is that blood going to shine through? You know, like Tupac says, sometimes we just got to hold our, stick, stick our head up and handle it. You know, and this is one of those times. Right now is a time that we just got to, we got to dig down deep within ourselves, hold our heads up, and walk proud, and everything we do, do it to the best of our ability. as black people, as they say, black and brown people. <laughs> uh, that whole political correctness stuff tripped me out. But, but as black and brown people, you know, we have to be three times better than the non-black and brown people in order to even get a chance or even to get the opportunity for them to look our way. And I'm going to just say, you know, no, everybody doesn't want to conform to society. Everybody doesn't want to be a part or everybody doesn't want to play a part. But when we come out on the other side of this coronavirus, when we come out on the other side, money is gonna be key. I remember my uncle Richard told me, it's like, if you ain't got it by 30 more, you ain't gonna get it. And I didn't understand what he was talking about. And as I got older, I understand that he was saying if you don't have something stable in your life, something that can financially stabilize you in your life by the time you're 30, then you're in a predicament, basically, is what he was saying. And to go back to what I was saying, when we come out of this coronavirus on the other side of it, um, we're gonna have to have some type of financial income that is going to be able to sustain us or you or your family. Whether it's a job, a decent paying job, uh, a business, uh, a job and a side hustle some type of college degree that can go behind your name that you will be able to get a good job, some type of skill that you can do and capitalize off of it for financial gain. But on the other side of this, we're gonna have to be able to make a decent financial living. Because the ones at the top, during this time, this downtime, and like everybody not going through bad times right now, there are people actually capitalizing off of people not having jobs and the economy being weak and the unemployment being high. But I just wanted to drop through here and, uh, going through some tough times, but like Tupac said, we just got to hold our head up and handle it, and dig deep down inside ourselves and know that we are great, we have great capabilities, and we have the capacity, the knowledge, and the spirit in us to do anything that we put our minds to. Y'all be blessed, Chief Motivation.